For this problem, I want to find the reference angle for 1.9. And this is an angle that's measured in radians and not degrees. So really, this is 1.9 radians. I'm going to use the unit circle as a guide to figure out the reference angle. Since we're using radians, I'm going to start labeling radian measurements on this unit circle. So like if you start here on the positive x-axis and you don't rotate, we call that zero radians. If you ro rotate up to here, this is pi over 2 radians. If you go all the way down here, that's pi radians. Keep going, you get to 3 pi over 2. And I think that's going to be enough for this problem. If you go all the way up to here, you'll be back to 2 pi radians. Um, the issue is, with these angles that I've listed in radians, they all have a pi attached to it. And it's hard to compare that to just a decimal of 1.9. So what I'm going to do is, instead of using, like, let's say, pi, I'm just going to use the decimal form of this number. It'll make it easier to compare to this. By that I mean, I know pi is about, you know, 3.14. Maybe I'll add a couple more decimals, you know, 1.5. It goes on forever. So it'll be easier to compare this decimal number to this decimal number. Uh, likewise, with pi over 2, I'm just, you know, go to a calculator here. Okay, if I type in pi over 2, you know, pi over 2 is about, you know, it's 1.5707. It has a decimal that goes on forever. And then for 3 pi over 2, as a decimal, this is about, you know, 4.71238, and it goes on forever as well. So I won't actually be using the numbers that have the pi in it. I'm going to use the decimals instead. So where is 1.9? If you start here at 0 radians and you rotate up to here, that's about 1.57 radians. If you go down to pi, you've gone you know, to about 3.14 radians. That's too far. I just want to go a little bit past 1.57 radians to get to 1.9 radians. So I don't have it exactly, but I know the angle, 1.9 radians, is somewhere past, you know, 1.57 radians, not quite uh, down to 3.14 radians. Okay, well, that's step one, like labeling where the angle is actually located. The second step is, well, what do we mean by the reference angle? The reference angle is defined as the acute positive angle formed by the terminal side of this angle and the x-axis. It has to be the angle that's located here. I'm going to label that theta. So if you want the reference angle, it is this acute positive angle here that I'm calling theta. The goal is, how do you figure out theta? The way you figure it out is by taking pi radians and subtracting 1.9 radians. It'll leave you with this much stuff left over. So like exactly, it would be pi minus 1.9. But you know, you could also just use the approximation for pi, which is 3.1415. I think that'll be good enough. And I'll subtract 1.9. So if I do that in my calculator, 3. Point, let's see, 3.1415 minus 1.9. Okay, I'm getting roughly 1.2415 radians, and it's asking me to round to the nearest hundredth. So that's rounding out to this 1.24. In fact, that's going to be my answer. The reference angle is 1.24 if we round to the hundredths place. If you're dealing with an angle that's in radians, but you're given a decimal form of it instead of something with pi, the idea is we'll use the decimal equivalents of these exact values. It'll help you locate the radian measurement just a little bit easier.